Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and I'm the founder and owner of TechViews Nope. And today, we are doing another universal application for Windows 10. And this is the fourth video. So in this video, we're going to get into a few things, how to make pages so we can add it to our previous section and um, we're going to see how far we're going to get um, I'm kind of getting weird out because I've been doing from one to now in one sitting now in case you missed it I got rid of the frame rate counter and if you don't know how to do that check out a previous video or just sit here and what you need to do is go to app thing and then go down to here where it says debug and turn this into false it, it should say true on yours just turn it false and it gets rid of the frame rate counter so we don't have that annoying problem again so let's uh add some pages so what we do is go to project we go to add new item go to second or two and we need to add blank pages and and we can name them whatever we want so i'm going to name this video make sure it starts with a capital letter and um so i don't know i'm thinking to do like a playlist there and then we're going to add another page for the share button I'm thinking about making that to share and support. All right, from here, I'm not really doing anything too much these pages yet. So what we want to do is basically make it where this, that's kind of close. This actually um, can link to the pages. All right, so as far as this goes, we're going to do a few things. It changes on here. <clears throat> we're going to try to find it. For the Rialta panel, we're going to create another button. And this is going to be a back button. And uh, let's just close it out for now. A uh, text box. And, um, hold on a second, let me check my one note for anything else. Okay, um, oh, by the way, when you're creating this stuff, I advise you to use things like uh, OneNote to help you keep track of what you're doing and where you can jot down ideas and, and all that stuff. I have a video, a uh, crap video, but still a video on OneNote. I'm going to get more depth in OneNote whenever I get my Surface Book. I wanted to hold off on the desktop versions. Uh, the, the video covers a web version. I wanted to cover the desktop version with the Surface Book because I don't have a way to show you the touch function. And I don't know if there is a difference. So, all right, so we got our text box. Oh, so first button is the hamburger. Second button is the back button. Then we got a text box. Then we need a button for the search. And this is just, um, we're going to create a search, probably, probably comment it out, but still. Let's get it up and running. Another text box. Oops. I messed that up, sorry. Text box, sorry. 
and let's close this one out too. Yeah, I definitely need to edit after this one. All right, and uh, we're going to add something to this. I'm just going to add right here. Um, relative panel, since we got quite a few things. Relative panel dot align left with panel true oops uh, with this we're going to name back button then we're going to do a relative panel um, right of hamburger button, and um, I'm I'm just going to I already know what I'm going to put in here for the if you watched the second video you would know about the uh, characters and stuff like that so, um, the character map. I'm just going to put the stuff in here instead of searching for it. I already got it written down. So we got font family. And this is S E G O E M D L 2. That's that. Font size 36. Uh, content, uh, which one was it? At number sign X E zero C four. Um, oh, and uh, semicolon. So that should take care of that. So it's a back button right there, and that looks like crap, but we'll fix that. And um, in case you guys missed it, basically what's going on is I'm going to margin this so we got space, but basically we're going to make this into back button. Oh, and um, we need to set the click and just do a um, back button click. So we can do the click method. So from here, we need to go to the text box and just name this. Let's go down. Or in fact, I, I, I'll fix up the looks of this later, but, um, crap. But we're going to do name equals title text block relative panel right of back button font size 28 and then we want to make it bold font weight bold for this button it's a um, the search button Again, we're probably just going to comment it out. I, tr I don't really have any use for it yet. Search. Oops. So we're going to name it search button. I don't know, maybe I'll find something in this video. Relative panel align.
right with panel true um five family s e g o e m d l two a s s e s t s fonts Oops. Size thirty. Um, what was the other? Oh, we had content at number sign X. E1, A3, and this is the, um, oh, semicolon, and this is the um, search thing. And let's go to the text box. Name, search, text box, relative panel, left of search button um, height forty eight width um, Maybe to fifty on that. Let's see. Anyways, I want to keep the um, text pretty similar to the twenty-five text. So font. Oh, sorry about that. Wrong one. Oh, I second look at that. I thought. I had changed that font. Uh, the font size. Uh, what was it? 25. And then let's do placeholder text. Search. So let's take a look at it. Oh, that's not right. Take a look at my notes, and um, I'll be back. In fact, um, if you run into a problem like this, the best thing to do is just copy and paste that type of stuff. Especially if you're using the same area. Just to say, yeah, so that was the problem. I don't like how this is pushing it down. So, what am I going to do? Height. Oops. Let's get that down to 30. Let's try 40. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, slightly less so. So, 42. Oops. Yeah, that's close enough. I can't really tell the difference. I mean, we can zoom in all the way and be critical. Actually, I think it is on the line. But, uh, yeah. So, that's how you do that. So, oh, before I forget, um, we're going to add an error page, and this one's going to be called home. And what I'm going to do, so I can actually figure out which one I'm going to, is I'm going to go to toolbar, throw a 
text block out and just say home. Um, so I know which one I'm going to uh, share. Do the same thing with that. Throw a text block out. Say share. And same thing with video. And obviously, this is just placeholders. It's just, it's gonna be the last thing I do before I go to bed. Uh, video. Now that we've done that, we can go back and um, go on here. So after, let's close this one up a little bit. So after split view pane, we want to make a split view dot content and then do a my, uh, frame name equals name it whatever we want. I'm just going to name it my frame. And um, yeah, so we're going to leave that as it is for right now. And so far, you know, everything's good. Um, and, and basically what we want to do is to rewrite is whenever we hit share or video, the share or video will come up. The um, text will come up here, say share or video. And if we're on home, same thing, but uh, it will come up here. And only way to get home is here. I might make home a uh, its own thing. In fact, that probably is a really smart thing for me to do. So um, I might, might leave a note on that. In fact, let's uh, let's do that. So I don't forget. And so we can make things a little bit more easy. All right. So with this, I'm just going to copy paste this ah uh, crap should have just done this one turn it up here since it's the first and um let's name this home and i'll be right back i have to find the icon and by the way, I am going to leave a link below to this. This should really help you out. But this is a cheat sheet on everything in the this. So instead of doing this measure and, and especially since you can't re expand it or whatever. Yeah, you can do advanced view and whatever. And um, if you know exactly what to search for, then it's fine. But as you see here, it's, it doesn't work that well. So, yeah. Like, if I search for, I mean, you can see here, it, just, it doesn't work that well. So, I can go to this website and search, oh, I want to go home. So, this is what I need. And that's the stuff I need. So, let's use that. And I'll leave a link below to that. Uh, where's home? So let's um, select that. And let's check that out. Home. Yeah, that works. Because honestly, you spend all day on that one and you might not even find what you're looking for and you can easily overlook it very easy so what we're going to do now is I am going to go here and I'm going to go 
down here under initial it's like android this is initializing everything that you want to start up here now is going to be in this area so we want the frame um, the, the the app to show the home page so what we're going to do is my frame dot navigate type of home and kill that and um, if we start this up give it a second or two the thing will actually go to the home page so basically if we wanted to we can ever instead of um, playing a guessing game on which thing we're working on as far as home or video or sharing or whatever I can actually just go to the page work on that and um, everything within that page it's it's separate and it's on self let's try to figure out what's going on here oh that's stupid I wish it Thing we can fix that by itself but um to fix that just go here and press f12 what pretty freaking do i wish i can fix that by itself and uh basically it's just saying that it doesn't have that and that little error that you saw it's not a big deal it's just it should have been a warning more than anything else Just give it a couple seconds to load because it's loading quite a bit of different things from last time. It's trying to build everything. So as we see here, we see home. Um, we still hadn't set up these to do anything, but as you see here, we also see home. So that's good. We got that working. In fact, we're about to work on this too so we need to do a few things now we got that um first things first is i want to do a uh, title text block dot text equals home and um Maybe welcome home, that'd be kind of cool. And also, I want to do a back button visibility um, equals visibility dot collapse. And that means it's hidden. And uh, let me check here for a second, just to make sure I got the right thing. Okay. And for here, what we're going to do is an if else statement. So if uh, did I, did I name them? Home is no, I don't think it is named. Well, we need to name them. Sorry about that. I thought I already named them. So here under the list box items what we do is name tab this one's home so home and same thing with the other ones is name share and Probably make that lowercase. Share and as far as this one goes, video. All right. All right. So, F home. Yes, selected. 
then do the following. How about that? So then do the back button. Oh, in fact, I could just copy and paste up here. All that, throw it there. Do an else statement, uh, else. If food, try to think about eating. What was the other ones? Oh, um, share. Is selected. Let's open up that. And we can copy and paste this, but we just gotta remember to change it. And I'm gonna do this again. And again, we gotta remember to change it. So I'm just gonna say video on this one. So I'm just going to say share, share, visible, video, video, and let's test this real quick. Give a second or two. So we have the home right here. We click it all day and it, it's whatever. Go to share and the back button shows up. And we, we haven't programmed it yet. But uh, video, so that works, that 100% works. That makes me happy. Go back to home and it disappears. That's, that's what we just added in case you missed it somehow. Now as far as the back button, where is the back button? Oh, here it is. So as far as the back button, this is pretty simple. If statement, my frame can go back up here sorry and um, what I want to do is right now because this is a pretty small thing I, I can do home is selected true again uh, it's because it's small and what I want to do is add this up here so let's run this real quick Back it goes home, so it goes home. I mean, that, that's the only reason why. If um, if it wasn't for the fact that it's only three things, 
or there's stuff. Chances are what's going to end up happening is for videos, I'm going to have Windows, Android, so on, so on. And then we're going to get into, I, I, I don't know exactly how it goes from there, but I know there's going to be some sub pages on some part of this. So that last little bit will be taken out, but for, for now it's, it's fine. I just got to remember it's in here. And let's kill that real quick. All right, and um, I, I was taking a quick look at it. And we need to work on the the uh, whatever we call it the the margin. So as far as the margin, where is it here? Uh, we need to basically make it where this has a margin of what did I put for down these. 20, seems pretty good, zero, zero, zero. And the reason for this is because I'm, I'm finding it a little too close and I don't like that. The, the uh, text to whatever, just to the left of it. So as you see here, there's a little bit of space. Might be too much space. Let's try 10. Come on, oh, this stupid thing. Let's try that. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to 15. Yeah, that seems pretty good. This actually seems real good. So my, my big concern is more of does it look good? Because I mean, it was side by side and I didn't like that at all. You might, it's your choice, whatever. And as you see, it, it lines up very good because I mean, it doesn't have a choice in it, but it, everything looks very unique. Um, so yeah, that's the main thing that we want. So let's comment the search out. Basically what we need to do is go to where the search is in fact, let's comment the entire thing. Uh, but w let's comment the search out so we can um, do that. So we do that number. Oops. And then for this, so we just commented that that out. Give it a second or two, and just just to make sure. This is just for me to. I I'm I'm pretty sure I did this right, which I mean it's not too much you can do wrong, but um, it's going in five or six, so sun's about to go up, so it's time to go to bed. Yeah, and you see here's commented out so we can come back later and add that functionality in here if we wanted to but for now we're just going to not and what I'm going to do is simply add a comment in here so I know what each thing is so for example what I'm going to do is say title of page And that way, when you come around and look at this, if you do choose, you know what to uh, make out of it. Back button. And I'll be back ish. Well, I might as well actually show you how to comment and, and um, this. So, what you do is, if, if I want to comment something out, I can just do it to forward slash and there. Just keep in mind on your next line, it, it doesn't comment that out. 
And in fact, uh, one thing, I, I, while I'm actually looking at this, this is the same way to comment things out. I believe it's Java or XML. I think it's XML. Um, it's the same thing you do in Android. But uh, as far as that goes, I, um, I'm i going to have this on GitHub so you can play with it if you want. Ask questions, do whatever. It's the reason why I'm making this so you guys can learn and so I can finally get this thing made instead of procrastinate anymore and also I could build my portfolio for coding jobs but um as far as that goes ask questions if you want and I'll, I'll see what I can do I might be overlooking something going too fast or whatever it may be just let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do now as far as things goes if you want to add anything into here then feel free to do so it's more help to everybody and probably even help to myself but um, if you like this and this has helped you out then feel free to leave a like subscribe and share especially share and that's a big one that helps us out on the channel and if you want to help us out further more then go to the patreon campaign and donate if you don't like this for whatever reason, then leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. And if you guys got a problem with the length, that it's not much I can do. With coding videos, it is going to be like this because it's not a um, straightforward. It's any real how-to like this. It's not going to be as short as some others. That's so why I'm showing something like my previous video. But anyways, uh, this has been Craig Bennett, founder of Tech Fuse Nope, and I hope you have a great day.